Hi everyone, good morning, happy Thursday. Yeah, I greet you all according to your time. May God bless you. If you are here for the first time or you are just coming across my video, please subscribe and click on your post notification bell for more videos. May God bless you. My returnees, may God bless you. You are welcome back in Jesus' name. Yeah, today's video is somehow touching and then emotional, but it's a life story, a true life story, okay? Yeah, I want to share with you guys what I went through and then I know it will strengthen someone out there. Maybe someone out there may be going through the same thing, okay? Yeah, we do. it's good for us to tell stories of what we went through. Not telling stories of other people, you, you know, you sometimes you have to also tell stories about yourself to strengthen someone out there because someone may be going through the same thing, all right? Yeah, today's story, I'm going to talk about what I went through in the hand of a man I got married to, okay? And I want to ask my fellow women out there, how will you feel as a woman? When you met your husband, you know, or when both of you, you know, you know, saw each other, you know, you started, you know, life, and then you discover that the man has nothing. When I said nothing, he has nothing. You started with him from the scratch. He has nothing, not even a bed. Not even a chair, not even a cloth for him to wear. You know, you are the one supporting to make him look good, okay? And then in your presence, on your presence, he started buying property. And I mean, house uh, uh, property like chair, bed. You know, doing some furniture in the house. You know, I mean. But before all these things, both of you do sit like malams on the floor to eat. You know what I'm talking about. When you start, you started life with a man. He has nothing, not even chair to sit on and eat. Both of you sit on the floor to eat, to eat food. Okay, and the when things started coming off, things started becoming very good, and the. He dumped you for another woman. How will you feel? Will you feel okay? Will you be happy? I want to know what you think. This thing I'm telling you happened to me. I started with my 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 hobby with I started with my hobby. He has nothing. In fact, I want to tell you, he has not even a good clothes to wear. Sometimes I I I buy something, a cloth for him to, you know, to look good whenever we are going to service church, you know what I mean? Whenever we are going to church, I, you know, I want him to look good. You know, when your husband, if you, are, if you dress and he, he didn't dress well, you are the one to be ashamed of, you know, what he is putting on, you know. So I try make him to look good, okay? But I don't know that the person I'm trying to see how we can know become something does not even like me or even want not even in fact he doesn't want to even see me I didn't know he was just pretending I didn't know you know after our wedding I thought maybe I got married with uh, uh, got married to a a, a Christian a, a, a God fearing I didn't know that I got married with a monster. Yes, let me put it that way. Because I, I discovered that some men now doesn't want to take up responsibilities. They want to dump everything for a woman to carry. Okay? If you're a woman out there, I want to tell you that God is with you. Never you put your hands in juju. Don't stand yourself. Okay? Your nails is enough to fight that man that has made you to shed tears. That man that doesn't want you, you know, to be happy. I want to tell you that your prayers alone is, is, is a thunder. Yes, your prayers alone is a thunder. Your prayers alone, God doesn't take it for granted. God, when God will start 
working eh, on your behalf. Eh? It will be like as if you go somewhere to, to do juju to fight back. But it's God that has been working on your behalf. God has been intervening in your, your, on your behalf. Don't look for anywhere or do any fetish something. No, don't do that. As a woman, if you have been hurt by a man, I want to tell you that prayers alone, midnight prayer, your tears alone is enough to fight that man that doesn't want you to be happy. Okay? And I want to tell you to move on. God will bless you with someone that will make you, that will cherish you, that will love you, and that man, when he sees you, he will regret. He will start asking, asking himself, what have I gotten myself? What have I done to myself? Okay? I want to let you know that this man, I want to tell you that, that he has dumped me and my two kids. I want to tell you that what he is facing now is, is, is something that he has cried out, telling people that he has never. He got married to someone else and that person in the process of giving birth, that lady died. I had it, that was the last month. I felt bad because that lady never knew what that man has done. You know, that lady never knew what that man has done. If you understand me? When the anger of God will come, <laughs> when the anger of God will come, even the person on the on under the roof of such a one will also receive attack. That's why it's good. Whenever you are doing something, you have to keep your hands clean. Make sure you don't hurt anybody. Be truthful, be faithful, okay, in whatever you are doing. If you are a woman, you have been abandoned by your husband, I want to tell you don't give up. Don't fight, because I see some women, they sometimes you see them fighting, disgracing themselves, fighting a woman that the man has gotten married to, you know, another person that the man has gotten married. You don't have to do that as a woman. Move on with your life. Tell God that never you allow me to be put to shame. God, never allow my enemies to make mockery of me. That should be your prayer. God, give me long life, good health, so that my enemies, you know, will see me and glorify your holy name. That's the advice I want to give you as a woman. So if you are passing through the same thing, I want to tell you to be prayerful. There is nothing God cannot do. Okay? There is nothing God cannot do. God is a faithful God. He never takes the tears of women for granted. He, he always fights when he knows that you are... You are, you are innocent. God can never leave you or abandon you. Okay? Yeah, if, if you come across this uh, video, please share it. It can relieve someone from pain. It can relieve someone from, uh, you know, bad mind. Because some women don't even wait. They want to fight back through all means. Do you understand? So through this message, someone might uh, sit down and uh, okay, and that person will, you know, call upon God and will see what God will do. Yeah, if you are if you are here for the first time, once again, subscribe and put on your post notification bell. May God bless you for watching my videos. Till next time when I come your way, see you. Bye.